The average home oxygen patient is 67 years old and has COPD. They're vulnerable and live alone. Unlike in a hospital, patients at home are unsupervised. Oxygen can be used safely in the home and widely is, but when oxygen tubing is accidentally ignited, a fire can rapidly spread throughout a property, resulting in a large structural fire. The increasing provision of oxygen therapy at home and a growing problem with oxygen therapy fires led to the development of a device that helps mitigate the risk of home oxygen therapy fires. ENISO 8359, the harmonized European and international standard for oxygen concentrators, includes two mandatory requirements intended to mitigate the risk of fire. First is a means to prevent the propagation of fire back through the concentrator outlet. Second is a means to stop the flow of gas towards the patient if the tubing ignites. Fire brakes satisfy both requirements. For optimal protection, at least two fire brakes should be installed in the supply tubing. One should be fitted close to the patient, and one close to the supply. Fire brakes extinguish oxygen tube fires and isolate the oxygen supply. This reduces the amount of toxic smoke generated, stops the fire tracking back to the supply, and significantly reduces the risk of a large structural fire developing. Fire brakes are compatible with all oxygen supply modalities, gas, liquid, and concentrator supplies. When activated in a fire, the upstream tubing will pressurize. Ensure a firm connection is made with the tubing to withstand this pressure. Original fire brakes must be installed in the correct orientation. An arrow indicates the direction of oxygen flow. The new fire brake design is bi-directional, comprising two valves, and can be installed either way around. Patients should be advised never to remove fire brakes. Where a humidifier is used, a fire brake should be installed close to the humidifier outlet.